Ladies and gentlemen, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Rishi, and in this video, we are taking a look at Form 1, Chapter 4 Ratios, Rates, and Proportions. This chapter will be divided into four different videos, and I will be explaining each part of this chapter one by one. Without any further ado, let's begin. So, for this video, we are mainly covering ratios. Ratio is a topic that we have covered quite briefly in our primary school education. And now we are going to get a bit deeper into it. Before going any further, we have to understand what ratios mean fundamentally. Like what is the basic form of ratio? So in simple, in simple terms, ratio is just another representation of fractions. So, 12 eggs. As simple as that. And we can actually represent this relationship in a ratio form where we will write 1 to 3. Oh, by the way, this double dot is called as 2 when you are reciting the ratio. And with that, and that's, and that's how ratios work. You are actually comparing two quantities. Now, just like fractions, there are two more things that you have to know about ratios, which are equivalent ratios and simplest forms. So equivalent ratios come from the concept exactly the same as in fraction, where 1 over 2 and 2 2 over 4 are equal to each other because if we were to take the exact same cake again let's say we have one cake right here and another identical cake beside it okay so for this particular case we have one cake which has been cut into two slices and one of the slices is shaded that's the meaning of 1 over 2. And then for this scenario, we have one cake cut into four slices. And then we have shaded two of them. Although the numbers might differ, visually you can see that 1 over 2 and 2 over 4 are the exact same size of slices. This is where fractions are a bit special. So it's always wise to simplify a fraction into its simplest form in order to see the relation between two of different two different fractions. This is where the simplest ratios comes the simplest ratio concept comes into play. So when you, when you have 2 over 4 it is always wise to check whether you can simplify them any further. By simplification I mean whether these two numbers appear in the same timetable. 2 and 4 are quite simple, so 2 and 4 appear in time ta timetable. 2 and 4 appear in the multiplication table of 2, where you will get 1 times 2 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. So we have 1 over 2, which is the same as the earlier one, 1 over 2. That's why these two are equal to each other. This is the gist of this video. This is all you have to understand about ratios for now. Do not worry. After these three videos, there will be another one video where we will be doing questions regarding these three concepts to deepen your understanding. That's all for this video. As usual, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Till then, bye-bye.